You know, I, I, I learned how to dip Copenhagen snuff back when I was into... Back when I was into rodeo. I used to be into rodeo, believe it or not. I, 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 had, a, I had a rodeo career that lasted 15 seconds. That's, that's five bulls times three seconds apiece. But it was, it was a fun career. I don't know how many people have ever been on the back of a bull before, but it's kind of like getting in your car and driving down the freeway at 70 miles an hour and then just chunking the steering wheel out the window. <laughs> so after that was over, I just stuck with the Copenhagen part of being cowboy, and I've been using it. I've been using it now for 15 years, and I never had any trouble with worms or long relationships. Here we go. Now I went out last Sunday with my little Mary Ann. She said, please stay to Monday, and she grabbed me by the can. She laid a big one on me, surprised me with her tongue. But her surprise was waiting there between my cheek and gun. Copenhagen, what a what a flavor. Copenhagen, you can see it in my smile. Copenhagen, do yourself a favor, chew. Copenhagen, drive them pretty girls wild. So I went to the movies with my little Peggy Sue. I had my dip there in my lip just like I always do. She didn't know I was spitting in my Coca-Cola cup. She took a great big swallow and then threw her popcorn up. Whoa! Copenhagen, what a water flavor. Copenhagen, you can see it in my smile. Copenhagen, do yourself a favor, chew. Copenhagen, driving pretty girls wild. The moral of this story is so very sad but true. If you stay to breakfast, friend, they'll want to marry you. So try my little method, and I promise you no doubt. Dip some Copenhagen if you want to snuff them out. Copenhagen, what a water flavor. Copenhagen, you can see it in my smile. Copenhagen. Do yourself a favor, chew Copenhagen, driving pretty girls wild Copenhagen, driving pretty girls wild 